you do it? Yeah, I did it. So I get yours? That's mine. Let's see. Yep, there you go. Any regrets? Nope, not a one. Hell yeah. You got stuff to rip on? Yeah. Okay, yeah. go yeah. for it, dude. So, um, I've been told I've been unprofessional multiple times. I think we've had that discussion. Meryl Winston does a pretty good job of, of discussing that a little bit. And, um, you know, I've always been of the mindset that, you know, if, if somebody's gonna have an issue with my tattoos as a practitioner, as somebody who's a pretty okay practitioner, um, I don't know that I wanna work with them. <laughs> that's kind of the, you know, that's always the, the, the bent I've taken is, you know, hey, you can think my tattoos are unprofessional all you want, but maybe, maybe the company that you're working for that thinks my tattoos are unprofessional is probably not in line with my values. So I'm gonna go work somewhere that does that. Um, so it's really interesting to see that though, because uh, I've always kind of, so I've, I've always looked at myself as, as, you know, kind of a little bit of a novelty in the field. I don't see a lot of people that are covered in tattoos. I've seen it more in the last, I would say five years, but over the last 10 years, I was one of the only ones that would walk around with sleeves. So, uh, but I don't think that it diminishes anything that I do as a practitioner. And I see a lot of people that are very worried about that. And I, I can tell you as a doctor <laughs> now, um, you don't need to worry about it. There's people at the board that are covered in tattoos. And it's just its just one of those things, it's a, it's a new cultural norm that's kind of shifting and I, it speaks nothing to your practi practical skills. So I think that's the most important takeaway with that kind of stuff. Every day that I walk into the studio, I have a quote by Albert Einstein that I read that says, great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. And although that our field cannot rise above this bias and judgment, there are fractions of this community, like you see Shane Spiker here talking about, that are about trying to push this field forward, regardless of who you are, what you look like, and subjective bull like that. And there's a community of people around the world that want to bring this message to you. I've included a bunch of resources down below for you to check out if you love and support this sort of message. Thank you to Beth Garrison with Operant Coffee who brought this to you and please support this by sharing your message along with the video. Let's spread this and find more people that believe in this message. That's your daily beat. Which camera? Man, camera one, camera man, two, camera one. <laughs> You're tired, so you turn to that afternoon cup of coffee. But have you ever wondered what's really going on when you shouldn't consume caffeine?